there are a certain set of people on YouTube called vegans. Now, let's stress to this point, no of these uh, of these vegans, shall we say, um, are like this person. Unfortunately, there seem to be a large number of these people who seem to be so self-righteous about the decision that they've made and so offended by other people that they basically come full circle and just go complete asshole. So the person we're going to be talking about today is a guy called Vegan Bud. And Vegan Bud really gets my eye because, first of all, he goes on the stupid normal rhetoric of, oh, vegans can't get cancer. Well, sorry, vegans can and still do get cancer. There are only uh, two different types of cancer, from what I believe or remember, which they have a slight, and I mean slight, by like 5%, they are at less risk as. But for pretty much all the other cancers out there, they are exact same rate as anybody else. So I'm sorry to burst anyone's vegan bubble, but that's the facts. You can go and look them up yourselves. So the other thing that we're going to talk about is, if you remember last year, uh, I said that Jessica Ainscott, um, after she died, she, remember, she was the poster girl for the Gerson therapy. And the Gerson therapy, as, as we all know, is the you know natural juicing diet where you shove coffee up your ass. Well, I missed this originally because the video was posted about a year ago. But, again, like I said, last year when she died, people are going to go out and make excuses. And oh boy, does Vegan Bud make excuses. He starts off telling you about um, her cancer, which he gets right. It is a very rare cancer. We don't know a lot about it because it's so rare. I think it's something about um, like 15 people a year in the whole world actually get it. But it's really aggressive and it's pretty much a death sentence. Now, Jessica Ainscott went for the chemotherapy first and it did help it got rid of her first lot however the cancer came back now the next option for open was her was that she needed to have surgery and the surgery was to remove her arm which granted is pretty extreme but if that's the only way that you can guarantee any extent of normal life or to even extend her life beyond the sort of eight years she had it would have been uh, quite good for her. Now, Vegan Bud goes on to make this stupid claim that, oh, she shouldn't have had uh, chemotherapy first. And that chemotherapy is, you know, it destroys all her immune system. And, you know, that's what killed her. Well, no, it wasn't what was killed her. It was the cancer that killed her. And, again... Bear in mind, after her cancer came back, from not only her own words, but other people who were her supporters and were holding her up as this shining example that, hey, look, natural therapies work, were holding her up, saying to people, she's getting better. Jessica Ainscott said in her own videos she was getting better and that her cancer was going away. Now, again, you've got to remember and face reality, it was her cancer that killed her. And he makes this excuse, as did the Gerson therapy, that, oh, uh, if she only didn't have chemotherapy in the first place, our natural therapy would have worked. Well, again, these people go on continually about how, uh, particularly the Gerson therapy, how it can help boost your immune system. And, you know, the immune system is really important thing in, you know, curing cancer, even though, again, remember, scientifically, when you have cancer, it is essentially part of your own body, and it turns off the indicator for your white blood cells to attack it. So, your immune therapy does diddly squat. <laughs> so, 
and he makes the case that, oh, the chemotherapy destroyed her immune system, but then goes on to say that the Gerson therapy boosts your immune system. So again, this guy is completely in conflict with what's going on with him. And it is unbelievable to the fact that, <laughs> you know, he can't see the the difference between the two. He can't tell that he just made a massive contradiction. You know, it either helps build your immune system or it doesn't. And, you know, <laughs> bear in mind that, again, Gerson therapy doesn't work. But again... He says, oh, people are going to say, this is, you know, look at it and say, oh, you know, the therapy doesn't work. Well, it clearly doesn't because, again, not only did Jessica Rainscott, people like Ty Bollinger and other people who held her up as this, you know, amazing example of how natural therapy works. Guess what killed her? The cancer that you people said was being healed by her natural treatments. And, you know, let this be a warning to the other people that we've covered. Um, you know, we covered what... Um, Cassandra Challenger, she's, again, I think she's another Australian, who, again, uh, is trying to raise money from a GoFundMe so that she can have therapies. Remember, these are meant to be cheap and not, of, you know, not as expensive as, you know, traditional medicine. Well, explain to me why... She is having to pay five thousand dollars a week to have these treatments. What part of that is cheap? <laughs> so again, you know, there's not a lot more you can say about these these people. You really can't say a lot more about them. That, and again, he goes off about you know. Um, telling people about cancer when he has no idea and no clue really what cancer is or you know how it's treated and you know how effective it is and again you've only got to look at again in those comments and there are people saying you know spouting off the you know two percent effective uh, bullshit which we've covered before and again you know it's you know, people always say, you know, I make the same video again and again. Well, unfortunately, I've got to make the same video again and again because there are people like him who convince others that they shouldn't... Again, his message in that video, in that particular, in the particular Jessica Rainscott video, was literally, don't go for chemotherapy. You should wait and do naturalistic treatments for six months before you do anything with chemotherapy. And in six months, a lot can change with cancer. You could have literally killed yourself because your cancer could have gone from literally like a stage one cancer, which could have been really easily treatable, to a stage even three or four, which becomes even harder to treat. So, again, don't listen to people like him. He has no idea what he's doing. Remember, always trust your doctors in this situation because... They're the ones that have the knowledge and they are trained to deal with this. So, there you go.